Graham Bell invented the tetrahedral kite between 1895 and 1910. This kite came about from his experiments with Hargrave's box kites. The purpose of this vehicle was to create a kite that is scalable and big enough to carry a man in a motor. The tetrahedral kite flew successfully for the first time on December 6, 1907, when it carried a man 168 feet above the water. Bell was challenged by the science that adding size would add weight, but soon realized that he could use a lighter material to achieve proportional weight. The tetrahedral kite works poorly pressure. The air under the kite is slower and higher pressure, and the air above it is faster and lower pressure. This causes the kite to go up. Flying bus, flying bus, take you where you want to go. Ding! Um, our improved futuristic model is called the Green Globe. This model is made to go from planet to planet. This kite is ran off, not ran on gas, but this kite is ran off of anti-gravity. This um, means that it rejects gravity and flows into space with ease. Also, this kite has supplies to help us survive. Lastly, our bus provides comfortable seating and a snack bar for refreshments and your convenience. So buy a ticket on your to your local planet you won't regret it. Our kite holds the materials we need to survive. For example, Mercury is the closest planet to the sun, which means it's hot, and we need layered protection, which our ship provides for all passengers. Why would you spend thousands of dollars on an airplane ticket? When you can ride our flying bus. Flying bus, flying bus, takes you where you wanna go. Ding!